Isn't today a rest day? The sun isn't even out yet. So why are we getting up before 7 a.m.? Oh yeah, hashtag mom and always. I'll be looking real cute. Real cute when I first wake up. First thing we are doing is we are packing Trey's breakfast. Now I pack his lunch of the night before. Trey is having today a yogurt tube, some raisins, a sugar-free pudding. This is that Dolce de Leche one. I can only find that one at my local grocery store. And then down here, oh Lord, <laughs> we've got, look, that is the cup with his, oh, I'm making a hot mess this morning. This is gonna be great for me. Great for me, oh Lord. Let's see if we can flip this over. That's his nasty pimento cheese. He loves that stuff. Turkey pepperoni, these little bitty Ritz crackers. I got those from Aldi way back when. We're almost done with those. And some red bell pepper. And then under the raisins, let me see if I can lift it up. He's got some canned peaches from Walmart. A little afternoon snack. He's got one of these 100% juice pear cups. These are those little Lance cracker packs. He loves the cream cheese and chive. He got a bunch of those from Santa in his stocking. And then I'm trying to go through old crap we have on hand. This Nature Valley soft bake oatmeal square and cinnamon and brown sugar. So got his drink with his like all the knockoff to crystal light in there. A Chobani, a Greek yogurt, a blueberry cup, and then these little light and fit protein shakes. If you are new to a calorie deficit, I know I say this all the time, broken record, but not everybody hears it. These little shakes have 10 grams of protein in them and they are 80 calories. So a lot of people always asking how I can get an extra 10 to 15 grams of protein in, in their day, if they're eating high protein, if you're on my programs, these little shakes and the little two good ones, they come in clutch. So for breakfast, I've got a cinnamon raisin bagel that we're popping in the air fryer for him. He's just been loving plain bagels, not like with any cream cheese or anything on them with some of the spray butter and that's it. So five minutes on broil. If y'all don't have an air fryer, guys, I can't suggest this one enough because of this broil setting. Uh, it works just like a toaster. So you don't need multiple appliances is what I'm saying. Watch my grocery hauls. Most of y'all know he loves frozen fruit or he did, but this week back to school since our two week break, he's been sending it back home every day. I don't know what's going on. I'm like, really? That was like a cost effective way because the boy can put some fruit away like myself. So we've got some can the rest of those canned peaches and a little bit of blueberries. I'm like, I might have to go the can route with a lot of fruit and fill in with some fresh if that's the case with him. So we'll see if he brings this back to Day. I'll report back and then we've got a Fairlife protein shake. He loves those. I am going to get the Premier Wins. They are on sale at Sam's right now, but these are our favorite hands down. They're just so freaking pricey and hard to find most of the time. And if y'all are wondering why I don't pack whale lunch, it's because he says he loves school lunch and it's time to get up. It's time to rise, boy. It's time to rise. How'd y'all end up on the couch? Thought y'all were in y'all's beds last night. This always happens. They always end up on the damn couch. Hey, it's time to get up. It's time to rise. Got to go to school, turkey. Can I help you? Are you going to school today? Are you going to school? Yeah, big stretch. Yoga pose stretch. I'll take you out in a little bit, mister. Breakfast complete. Also throwing a built cookie dough chunk puff in here. Now he might not eat all this stuff, guys. They save a lot of the snacky stuff in the classroom and just give it to him as needed. While we're getting the boys herded up, we're gonna do our water for the day and start drinking on it. First thing, a tip. Y'all always ask, how do I get that water goal in? First thing in the morning, start sipping on that ish. We're gonna do red pineapple today. So we have a crushed pineapple packet. That's my favorite pineapple. And then the Hawaiian punch in the juicy red. Super good combo if you've never tried this one. You better you better put that frown upside down and stop staying up so late with Dada. I'm tired. I'm tired. You don't think I'm tired? You think I wanna be up on my rest day, boy? Yeah. Yeah. Get that uh, snack. Get them shoes on. Them, <gasps> them little crusty feet. Whee! Yep. If you're looking for a like insulated water bottle for yourself, for your kids, these hydro cell ones, I cannot recommend enough. Got these off of Amazon. I just opened it up to make his new like water and it still had ice in it from yesterday at school. That's crazy. Stanley who? I love you. Yeah, yeah. Have a great day. 
Bone Daddy's frozen. I know. <laughs> we gotta get that sand. Y'all, I know, I know. Look, we got everything else down. We had a major storm come through two days ago, so we didn't get his hat off yet. We didn't get the lights and the deer. That's it. It looks like a Christmas tree. Have a good day, buddy. I love you. Bye. <laughs> so not only do I drink my water first thing, but I'm not going to do it because it makes you guys dizzy and sick and I don't want that to happen. But I've got Trey waiting to get on the bus. I am getting my steps in around my island, lapping the island before we go outside. It's freezing or I would be walking outside and have him outside, but it's Arctic. We don't, we don't do the Arctic. So I'm walking laps and getting the steps in, even though I know I'm going to get some movement in later, it doesn't hurt to be proactive. So another tip besides getting the water in first thing is if you have a little time or if you're waiting or whatever, instead of sitting on your behind, move and walk and get those steps in. It, it will add up very, very quick and you'll be thankful instead of at the end of the day when you're trying to play catch up to hit that step goal. All right, the bus is coming. Are we going to school? You tell everybody hello. That's his hello, y'all. Good morning. Look at you talking to everybody out there in YouTube land. Look at him. He's getting out of his comfort zone, y'all. He's getting out of his comfort zone. My baby. I love you too, buddy. Love you too. Is it time to go out? Did it, did all your brothers leave? Now it's time for you? He's been chomping at the bit, y'all. He's like, I got the party so bad. See ya, mom. Bone Daddy is frozen solid out here. Uh, we got to get his Mardi Gras attire on and then we've got just a little bit of the the stuff is like on the porch I got to get in the attic everything else I put in the attic we got the lights out here but we had one hell of a storm come through I got most of it down before it came down today is January 10th when I'm filming this okay real life here I know so many of you guys were like girl my stuff's not down either and there's my drunken deer and that's it and we just got to get it in and as far as Mardi Gras is concerned you're gonna see I'm gonna be on the hunt for a wreath for the front door I know what is my life I don't have a Mardi Gras wreath. I don't know what happened. I did way back in the day, but you know, that doesn't last long. And we've got the stuff for Bone Daddy. I've got like a rug, some flags out here, and that is it. That way we don't have this again. I don't know what it is with Christmas. Halloween's not the same. I had that stuff down like the day after Halloween and that's my ish, y'all know. But Christmas stuff, it's just cold, it's wet, it's nasty. I don't know why I put it up. Oh yeah, I do, Waylon. I'm freezing my my kahunis off out here. <laughs> Let's go inside. You know, like sprinting out here to poop and now you're like taking your sweet time to go back in and mommy is frozen solid like bone daddy. Get your booty in the house. Like what is what is going on? What are you trying to sniff at? Yeah, you, be you better get in the house. You, you about to get evicted. Time for your girl to get some breakfast. So for our rest day edition, what we eat on our rest days, the same ish we eat on our regular days. We eat our calories, same calories on training days as rest days because you want to make sure that you are recovering and building that muscle is done right here with nutrition after your training. So just like Trey, I've got um, a bagel, a cinnamon raisin bagel and a half. We're doing one and a half bagels. I know, carbs. Don't hate, appreciate. Protein source, we're doing the Oikos Triple Zero. It's got a lot of protein in it, I love this. And I've been digging a yogurt bowl with all the toppings and some type of carb on the side. It's been my jam on my rest days. I've been loving it and it is hella easy. So y'all ask all the time, like, I have no time to meal prep, you don't have to. You can take a bagel to work, you can take some yogurt with some berries to work, pack that the night before, no cooking involved, or just throw that crap in a lunchbox and like assemble it at work. Don't make things complicated is one of my biggest advices. So uh, advices, is that a word? So I'm doing 300 grams, 300 grams of yogurt. That's a lot of yogurt. 300 grams, look at us being precise. So far I have 80 grams of fresh blueberries and then 80 grams of fresh raspberries. These raspberries from Aldi, are y'all seeing how beautiful they are? And I can say they are freaking amazing. Probably the best raspberries I've had in a long freaking time. These Central West ones, I've been getting them at Aldi and they have been hands down 
perfection. Set of granola, it's gotta be American Dream Nut Butter, and this Hikers Hall, uh, I'm sorry, they don't have it anymore, and I wish, it, cause look, this is how much I got left. It's got little pieces of granola in it. It is so fire for yogurt bowls, and little M&Ms, I mean, shut up. Why didn't they bring this one back this year? They have not brought back a lot of ones. I have some beef with American Dream Light right now. I'm like, girl, where is the Naughty or Nice? Where is this? Like, what is happening? And I feel like they had a million launches back to back and we haven't had a launch in like three months. Like what's going on? We've got 24 grams of that in there. I needed a little extra fatty fat. So I up it by avocados and nut butter usually always. Doesn't look like much. And this is an example of why you should wait and track your food. Cause you might be thinking, oh, this, I mean, that's a lot of yogurt, but you know what I'm saying? And yeah, that's a lot of bagels, but it, volume wise, it's, it's a lot, but it's not a lot for almost 900 calories. Yeah. You heard me right. 64 grams of protein though. We've got our protein coffee back here and our most favorite Hello Kitty spooky mug with all the drama behind that. If you've been watching for a hot second, um, but I'm getting a big meal in because I'm probably not going to eat again until later. And I'm trying to like front load my calories. That's another tip. If you know, you're going to be super busy. And then at the end of the day, you're like, Oh my God, I have 2000 calories left. Probably not that many, but you know what I'm saying? You need to be eating bigger meals earlier in the day. So you're not left with trying to like get all your food in at the end of the day. So that is what I'm doing for the full macros popping up. Presentation isn't as pretty uh, before. So I didn't do it beforehand, but I add a buttload of cinnamon on there too, cause it's just so good and helps with all kinds of things. And yes, if you're new, we don't mess around. Hadn't done this since a vlogmas. So I'll show you guys. The vitamin D is what I take as far as supplements in the morning. I do like this PE Science multivitamin and I was out for a while so I got it back in. So I'm taking two multivitamins. Also take two apple cider vinegar just because I don't know if it does anything but I've been taking it since my keto days. So I'm going to continue to do it. Why not? And then cinnamon. Like I was mentioning to you guys earlier, cinnamon has so many amazing properties like anti-inflammatory properties and stuff and I just, I mean it does doesn't hurt right so I like to take it now are these necessary do you need to take these out of all of these of course a multivitamin and then vitamin D like we are all are all deficient of vitamin D like we need to be getting that in and I did my DEXA scan when I first started keto like I really need to do another one it'd be mind-blowing but I've mentioned why I haven't done one I know that this has helped me since then I mean it's been a long time ago I've been taking it for a long time but yeah you need to incorporate do you need this specific one no but um, that's what I that's what I'm taking you do you mug check complete everything's the same if you've been watching except and I've mentioned this before, we did put on a little bit of the Urban Decay Eyeliner in the shade Vice. It's this really pretty glittery purpley shade. A lot of you guys said you like this one too and you like the other colors it comes in. So I just put it on my lower lash line and then instead of using my, my beloved Vaseline, if you've been around, yes, we, we love it. And y'all saying y'all are finding the stick version at Dollar General, I'm on the hunt, girl. But I have been gatekeeping this from you guys. I I haven't used it in a while, but I absolutely love it. And I was going ham on it for a long time. And then I switched over to the Granny Vaseline here for it. This is the NYX Fat Lip Oils. I know I'm like late to the game on these, like everybody talks about these, but I got it off of Amazon and it was cheap and it came in a three pack. Now, I think I would want like a little bit of a lighter shade. This is more of a berry tone, but the shade on this is that chic. I like this formula is what I'm saying a lot. All right. So I want to like play with some of the other fla uh, flavors. Some of the, uh, my arm's hurting. It is rest day after all. Uh, some of the other shades. Y'all let me know if you've used this lip fat oil from NYX. I like all the NYX stuff. Like all the NYX stuff is so good. Let me know if you've tried this and what shade is your favorite. Please, please let me know in the comments down below and I'll look at the shade ranges and I'll go and pick and play with some, some new flavors. Also, the last time I talked to you guys, I was talking about how when you do your mascara, one eye always looks better than the other and I was talking smack about this left eye, left eye. Let me tell you, I was talking smack and ever since I talked smack on that video, this eye has been looking perfection. So tip of the day, just trash talk your eyes. Like if you have one, y'all said the same thing. You're like, yes, I have one that always looks terrible. Just trash talk it. Just like talk to yourself and be like, God, I, you're horrible. But <laughs> like, just like with the rice cakes on the ground and we're eating the dirt off the ground cause God made dirt and dirt don't hurt. I mean, come back to my channel for life tips. I've got all the tips here. Talk smack to your eyes and eat rice cakes off the ground. Fit of the day. Are we going for bank robber? 
our Margot from Christmas Vacation spookified. I, I can't tell, but I'm here for it. So we've got pretty much Shein on everything. I'll ask all the time where I get my stuff. Like if I don't have things from Shein, Target, or Walmart, your girl doesn't have it in her closet, okay? So this sweater, I love it. It's got like stars embossed on it, oversized. Shein necklace, cross action. Shein <laughs> glasses, bat wing glasses. Shein. Uh, the purse is from Amazon. I've linked this on Amazon, uh, Amazon Instagram a million times for you guys. I have it in white as well. Love it. The leggings are from Buff Bunny. These are the Rebel ones. I don't think they're available right now, but that's what that's about. And these knockoffs to Doc Martens. Shein. And then the hat. I think I got that from Amazon. We went on our Dollywood trip. And that is the fit of the day. It is giving Spooky B is not uh, prepared for this cold outside. I already got the car defrosting. I hate it. I hate the hot and I hate the cold. Like, where is there a happy medium? I'm sure not here in Louisiana, I can tell you. Girl, where are we going? First off, I haven't used this because I thought it would be shaky. It is a new like thing I have on my dash and I, I have been reluctant to use it as you guys have noticed. However, we're, we're doing it today. We're doing the damn thing. Where are we going? Why are we dressed up on our rest day? Why are we leaving the house instead of being a hermit and Netflix and on the couch? We are going to return a bunch of ish from Amazon. Now, let me tell you, I have some beef with Amazon. So first off, I have three things I'm returning, not because I bought them and I'm like, oh, I don't like them. It's because these things I bought and they got lost in shipping for like two months, no lie and I asked for replacements, they came, and then these ended up coming like three months later, and they're like, oh, we need these or you're gonna be charged. Really? Really, Amazon? You're the reason, oh, like, don't even get me started. We're going to drop those off so I don't get double charged for something that wasn't even my fault because it got lost in the mail. <laughs> Struggles. Then I thought it'd be fun to go and do some shopping. I have not been out and about since before Christmas, and do I need anything? No, I need like a, a throw blanket for the couch because the ones we have for all year apparently are non-existent or raggedy. We have millions of spooky bee and Christmas throws, but no like just regular throws for the year. I was about to bust all my spooky bee ones out, but I'm like, I want to cherish them for the times. They're, they're special to me. My sister's birthday is Monday the 15th, so I'm going to be on the hunt for some little things for her. And then first, we're going to get our nails done. So many of you guys complimented on these nails and said you love the chrome. I'm going to see if they have, I mean, come on. I'm going to see if they have black chrome. If they have black chrome, my mind is going to be blown and we might just have black chrome nails throughout the rest of the year. My nails don't really look bad. I'm like, oh, ratchet nails all the time. Do y'all use a particular nail more, our finger more than the other? I use my middle, my middle, I'm flicking you guys off, my middle finger for everything. Like instead of using my index finger for my phone and texting and stuff, I use my middle finger. I use this to scroll on my laptop and like punch all the keys. Like I don't know what it is, but I use this one. That's probably bad. Like I'm probably going to get like or arthritis or something here soon. Uh, stay tuned. This one gets used the most. And this is also the one that got jacked up when I was talking smack about the guy hoarding the, the, the pad over there for deadlifts and it got all the chrome knocked off of it. But this one always, what I'm trying to say, the back always gets flipped up. Like if you get nails and acrylic, you'll understand what I'm saying. And it feels like you have no function in this finger. And that's how it's felt for the past couple of days. So that's why I'm going to get them. They're due anyways, but I usually let them go a little bit past because you know, your girl's a cheapo and getting our bang for our buck, but we're going to go get those done first. And then we're going to go explore. It is a beautiful day. We had all the storming, as I told you guys, and now it is just absolutely beautiful, but it is freezing and I am not here for it next week though. God, the lows are gonna and I know for my northern friends don't say anything the lows are gonna be like 20s in the teens that's that's like arctic blizzard shut down for us okay and the highs are gonna be like in the 40s Ugh, I, I, how am I gonna get to the gym next week first stop nails let's get it six hours later is it that when you get your nails done it takes a thousand million years i like having my nails done but i hate getting them done who's with me okay here's of a deal here's the tea they have black chrome but they were out of black chrome i was like wah wah however we did something new and i'm not mad about it like I'm here for it. So it's black underneath. And since they didn't have black chrome to put on top, they did like a white clear on and it comes out to be like 
different colors. So when you look at it a certain way, it's like a dark gray or like maybe some type of celestial blue. I don't know, but I'm here for it. They could have done my, look, I'm, I'm cray. I like the tips like super pointy. Y'all ask all the time, like how I'm able to write and stuff with the long nails. Number one, pointy is easier to write with than square or uh, the almond shape and all that. They did more of a like mix between almond pointy today, but not, I, I like it. I, I'm, I'm in my chrome era since I discovered it here and I'm just gonna get all the colors in chrome that they have. So now that we have been sitting in a chair for 500 hours, I'm gonna drink some water because I'm dying of thirst. And now we're gonna go shopping, but it's probably gonna be cut short now because we were in the chair. Ugh, this is why, this is why. I need to just like let them be natural, but then I'll be getting the trolls on my grocery haul saying, you need to get those nails done. Like, did you click on the video for the grocery haul or for how I did my nails, girl? Like, come on. Make sure that you're parking your ass in the back. No princess parking for us. We're muscle mommies. We don't princess park. Someone please explain to me why it has to be this cold. Why? And I know, Northern friends, I know. It's like 50 right now, and I feel like I'm about to die. First stop, Bath and Body Works. This is what we got going on in Bath and Body Works. I'm in the Max now, AKA TJ Max. However, Stevie, if you're watching, Stephanie, I was in Bath and Body Works and the girl checking me out was like, I know you, I know your face. Who are you? And I was like, did you go to my high school? No. Were you a student at the last place I taught before I retired? Yes. What subject did you teach? Science. Oh my gosh. Miss Burgess. Just letting you know, Stevie, that when you run into your students and they're now like adults, adults really makes you feel old. Dang. Pro tip, I usually find the best shirts in the men's section here at the Max and at Marshalls and Ross, but they ain't got shit here today. Dang. Remember why you really came in here, Nicole? To get a throw blanket, nothing else. I'm really vibing with this black Nicole Miller with the white hearts. I'm kind of loving that. $25 though, god dang. Come on, why can't this be $10? Look at these guys. They happied up. Nicole Miller knows what's up. I mean, the checker print, pillows, what a vibe. Would Saint be happy or what if I bought a Valentine's rug? No Saint, I'm not doing it, I'm not doing it. Look at these Easter Hello Kitty little girls. Look at this one. Aren't they cute? How much are these things? $17, not as bad as I thought they'd be. You know I bought that damn blanket. You know I bought that damn blanket. But that's the only thing I bought. There was a really cute cup in the checkout line because you know, I waited in the checkout line for like 15 minutes and I left it there. Aren't you guys proud of me? But now I'm going to Home Goods. Recipe for disaster. Somebody please let me know. January 10th, that's today's date. Is it like National Shopping Day or something? Like, look, if you wanted to Princess Park, you couldn't because look, I had to park in my muscle mommy spot way out here. Here's Home Goods. Can y'all see where Home Goods is? Can y'all see it? There's Home Goods way yonder. I'm all the way back here by Starbucks. Can you see Starbucks? I'm in the Starbucks parking lot, which I'm here for. That That's muscle mommy parking. But I'm just saying, like, what is going on? Every place I've went to has been like, whoo, and it's not even like, I mean, it's almost one o'clock now, but I started early. What is everybody doing? I'm sure they're saying the same thing when they see me out here, but dang, I don't do this often. And when I do, I pick a day that is like a million people. Like, why am I always like complaining? What is my life? Like, shut up, girl. Well, at least I didn't get ripped off at TJ Maxx. They have the same exact blanket for the same price. I did find this rug though. I'm digging the black hearts, as you can see, black and white hearts. It is so cute. It's supposed to be a bath rug. I don't know if I'm gonna put in the bathroom or somewhere else, but it's in the cart. I picked these pillows up over there. I was like, oh, these are gonna be cute. I need to redo the ones in the living room, 30 bucks. I came down this aisle just to look and they have the same ones on clearance for 24, like multiples of them. I mean, this one probably would have rang up, but what if it didn't? I mean, you gotta keep checking those aisles, lady. I made it out of home goods under $100. I say that was a successful trip. However, I have not found any Mardi Gras-ish anywhere. Like what, I live in Southern Louisiana. Like 
two seconds from, not two seconds, but really damn close to New Orleans. Where is the Mardi Gras-ish around here? All I'm seeing is Valentine's and Easter, Blech. But it is what time, goodness gracious, like time gets away from me. When you're having fun, it's one o'clock. So I would love to go on the other side of town, but y'all understand like the other side of town is so close, but so far. And go and see if I can find a wreath. I know the old Hobby Lobby, we love it and we hate it. I try not to go in there anymore, but I think that's the only place I'm gonna find a freaking wreath. They do carry Mardi Gras stuff at ours anyway. So I, I might go Saturday, the day we're gonna go for my sister's birthday party and see if I can find something as I'm out and about getting her cake and stuff. Should I go over there now or should I go home and eat? Eating sounds like more fun. Well, you see, we chose lunch over shopping. That's usually always a good choice. We are doing a sandwich. Don't let anybody tell you that you can't have all the foods and still see success in your journey, no matter if you're in a cut, maintenance, whatever you're doing. We are doing a Sammy, and I'm using this Aldi baguette. I'm loving this, and I've mentioned the past couple of videos, so if you haven't watched them, listen up. You can't just eat this bread out the package. You have to heat it up in the oven. It says, take and bake ready to heat and serve. You have to heat it up or it's gonna taste like absolute cardboard. When you heat it up, it's so perfection every time. So I have the oven 400. I do about five minutes for mine and it's perfect for a sandwich. But so many of you were like, oh my gosh, mine went like bad after the day I bought it. This stuff will last you, no joke. It lasted one time for me two weeks. And if you keep heating it in the oven, it's fine. I don't know what chemicals and sorceries in it, but I'm here for it. As I'm getting the oven ready to preheat, yeah, girl, why didn't you get some pans up at the home goods? Look, I've been having these pans since before me and my husband got married, and we've been together since high school. These pans are working just fine. Most of the time, we just put parchment and aluminum on here anyway. We're not even using the damn pan, so it is fine. We using these until holes get rusted in them, okay? We got two of the Laughing Cow cheeses. We're doing the Spicy Pepper Jack. My favorite is the Sharp Cheddar, but I can only get that one from Target. And sad times, I'm not at Target. This is all we got, so two of those, 50 calories. We're also gonna try out a new turkey I got from Sam's Club. If you watch that grocery haul, this is the Tuscan style herb turkey press. So I told you guys in that grocery haul that watch the Fit Mom vlogs, I'm gonna give you an update. The macros on this, and there it's new, so it's not even in like my tracker. I gotta like go and manually enter it. I have something else in there right now. 60 calories, 13 grams of protein for three slices. Yes, please. Like there's ways you can get that protein in for locale and not feel like you're eating in abundance. I know some people don't like that. That's not a problem for me. And then we're doing the Pepsi Zero. I'm obsessed with Pepsi right now. Like Pepsi sponsor your girl because <laughs> I wish like, whoa. Everybody dogs on Pepsi, but I am like obsessed. Y'all know I love the, the Pepsi Zero Cherry and I wanted to, go, okay. I wanted to go into my local grocery store Rouse's because they always got the good drinks where I was in that bougie area where I was shopping. That's the bougie area of where I live, y'all. You see, I don't live, I live way far away from that bougie area, but they got the good drinks, I must say. And I wanted to stop in there because I'm never on that side of town is what I'm saying. And I was like, no, food sounds more appealing right now and this traffic and all these people is no bueno and the drinks will just have to come another time. But all the Zero drinks are like out of stock everywhere, like just the basic ones because it's the new year and again, I keep saying and I'm here for it, but save some for me. Save some for me. Just a little old Pepsi Zero, y'all. Just, just a little Pepsi Zero. Save one case on the shelf for your girl. But no, it's gone. And this is the last one we have, so I jacked it before the boys come home. Laughing cow is on that crusty, toasty, whatever type of bread you want to call it. It's so good. It's so good. I love it. The tip to getting a sandwich with high protein, don't be, don't be skimping out on that meat. Like, do y'all see this meat? It's 123 grams. That's an ish ton of meat but it's going down. Don't be putting one slice of meat on your sandwiches, ladies. Like, we can't be gaining that muscle with one slice of turkey. And the jar says zero calories, it's probably five calories, but you know what? We don't care, we don't care. You can't have a sandwich without a pickle and we ain't tracking that, we tracked everything else. Sammy complete. We've got the pretzel, let me get you over here. Pretzel bites, y'all, you know, if you've been watching, these are my favorite, the bites and the honey mustard. So good, I think that's like 1.7 ounces weight out there, which is 221 calories. You know, they're a little calorie dense. I mean, if you love something, incorporate it in your day and revolve everything else around it that's a little bit better, like protein, carbs, just plain carbs, more carbs from fruit. We've got peaches, just like Trey, I'm doing the 100% juice peaches because we are out. I use the rest of the blueberries, the rest of the raspberries. Thank God I'm going to Aldi tomorrow because we are flying. I think I buy more than I need 
and then we're gone with it before I even get back to Aldi. My phone's blowing up. So I need to buy more. If I think I'm buying more, just add a couple more uh, containers to the cart, girl. And this entire plate is 40 grams of protein. The exact macros are popping up. I'm getting this in because it is 2 p.m. And y'all heard my phone's blowing up. Next level shreddies. They be on it, y'all. So I'm going to go and check in on them while I'm getting my grub on. Again, crushed it. If you are new, we, we do happy plate club around here. Happy plate as well, I want to call it. Update on the Tuscan style turkey breast. It's fire. Now, I did have it loaded down, obviously, with the Laughing Cow pepper jack, which is a little bit spicy. But I did get a lot of flavor from this turkey when eating it like on the sides by itself and stuff. It is good, it's good. I like the rotisserie season one chicken breast from Sam's Club as well, it's a fire one. But the macros on this and for the taste, it's a no brainer. Going back to supplements and what do I recommend as far as must have for supplements, not like your pills and stuff I was showing you earlier, like vitamin D and all that, but supplements like protein powder, collagen, creatine. The only ones I recommend to you guys are to have a protein powder on hand because it's an easy way to get the protein in. If you're in a bind, it's just very versatile to make a lot of recipes. So have one type, especially a versatile flavor like Snickerdoodle from PE Science or Cake Pop is the one I've been using lately. Recommend those to have. And the only other thing I say is a must is your creatine because it's going to help with muscle recovery, muscle growth. It is something that has helped me so much in my journey since taking it what like four years now three four years now it's made a huge difference and i am about to take my serving of it right now i take it every day even on my rest days and i don't make a big deal if i'm on vacation and if i skip a couple of times but you don't want to not take it for a long period of time because then you have to get it back in your system and when you first start taking it it will take about a week or so for this to start getting in your system and get working effectively just fyi i've had some questions on that and i know this is not recommended but y'all know i've mentioned that my creatine goes in my pre-workout on my training days but since we're not training i am dry scooping this don't do that don't do that at home okay and i should not be doing it but I am. All right, so we've got the new pillows. I'm digging it. I got the black ones, which were indoor outdoor, which also stay stiffer. Cause look, these boys, they tear up anything in five seconds. But I loved those and they were on a discount. Happy to see it. And we got our little blanket over there. I do need to get probably one more throw and we will be, we'll be set up in here. And then I'm just now burning this Merry Cookie from Bath & Body Works. My mom got me that for Christmas and I saw it was on sale. Let me tell you, it smells like buttercream up in this house. I feel like every time I pick up the camera and vlog now, we are making coffee. It just so happens to be my coffee day. So, and I can't get it open, what is my life? We're doing the Mocha Mint. I'm almost out. This is the one from Aldi. I know they sell this like year round at Walmart, right? Like peppermint mocha or you can get it on Amazon because we just got the PE science because you know they were slacking on the game with getting it to us. So I wanna use it because I like it and it's cold. So I'm finally feeling the peppermint vibes around here. I mean, we weren't feeling them when we were supposed to be feeling them, you know? You feel me? So we're doing it now, but damn, I am like out. <laughs> Sad times. This is like the last batch. What am I doing? I'm getting coffee everywhere. <sighs> one of those days. It's just one of those days. Sad times, I was looking for the rug another one another one i just keep thinking of so many song references today and they don't have it oh they have it on poshmark and what is that Mer mercari i don't know how you say it m-e-r-c-a-r-i what the hell is that is that like another poshmark i don't even know I, i'm out of the loop but they want like 40 dollars or more for the same rug that i paid 14.99 for they lost their mind i went on the website they do have a website on the little tag here and they don't have this. Maybe they don't have it on yet because they have a lot of like Christmas stuff and all. It doesn't look like they have like their new seasonal stuff yet. Maybe I can still score it off their website if they put it on. I don't know. But then people on Poshmark and all of them and eBay, they'd be great, great. I'm not succumbing to it and I'm not. Somebody is home from school <laughs> shaking his head at me. I can see you. <laughs> and I can see you too. You can see us? You can see me and Saint? Who? Who was? <laughs> Do you have a good day? Yeah. yeah yes, ma'am. Oh, uh, you still tired? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I feel like you're still tired from earlier. I'm gonna go outside. Go out. Oh, we need to show everybody what you got. I hadn't showed him yet. 
I hadn't showed them what you got outside. It's a surprise, huh? Show them what you got. A trampoline. You got something else too? We gotta show them at some point. Oh, my sleeves for my ID. Your sleeves for your ID? No, but I did order you some this morning. <laughs> uh, you gonna go play on the trampoline? Yep. Somebody's home and he's ready to go outside and jump too. All right, but take your shoes off. Well, you, no, leave them on, leave them on. You can take them off when you get out there. My, I'm sorry. That was my fault. All right, go get on. I don't know where Bubba went, but I'll get him out there with you. He loves his trampoline, y'all. He loves going to the bouncy places. Go ahead, take your shoes off and jump in. So my mother-in-law actually bought this for them for their birthday last year. And yeah, we're just now getting to putting it up. But let me tell you, that thing was a beast to put up. So all, kudos to everybody that had to put one up for Christmas this year. This one wants to go out so bad. You are not going on the trampoline. Hey, you think you're going on that trampoline? You were not going on that trampoline. And you're not running outside because you just went out, you little rascal. You just went out. He's like trying to, to go by my feet. Oh Lord, these boys, I swear, I swear y'all. Oh, that stinker tray. He ate his fruit today because it wasn't frozen. Oh my gosh, okay, so we gotta stock up, stock up on the canned and the fresh, I guess. Trey, you need to get a job, son. If you were wondering, Trey made a happy plate too. Making dinner, and if you think anything's changed vlog to vlog, it has not. It has not. Why? Why do we have to sit our big booty? Yeah, I'm talking to you. Right in front of the stove when I'm trying to cook, and I'm like, this is me. I'm like, oh, can I please have some room, sir? And he's like, no. Get your own space. This is mine. Tonight's dinner, we made an Elise Ellis recipe. We haven't made one in a hot second. This one's new from her January meal plan for this month. Her stir fry orange chicken. It smells amazing. So I'm so excited. However, I will say, usually her portion sizes are humongous. This one is not, but I think she did that on purpose so you could pair it with rice or whatever. And we are pairing it with one of the Aldi pork egg rolls that you can get by the pizzas in the deli section of Aldi. These things are so good. 120 calories and like six grams of protein. A total macros popping up for this meal. I've just been on a like an Asian kick here lately. I've been craving Chinese food and y'all know like the Chinese food's no bueno. And we really we were talking about this the other day. We don't have a good Chinese sit down restaurant. It's all that trash Chinese. Like no, no, no. So I've been getting my fixes by making it at home. So I guess it's a win-win cost effective and better for you. Happy play club. Always. I told you. Um, this was delicious. I would definitely recommend would make again. You know what it'd be fire for? It would be fire for meal prep for lunches over some rice and just packing your little containers and grab and heat up throughout the week. That would be great. I was talking smack about it being a small portion, but I'm just used to beast mode portions. It was great with the egg roll. So if you put like a rice or something with it, top notch. The flavor was chef's kiss on point. A lot of people on the reviews for her, cause you know, I'm nosy and I read the reviews on the macro foods thing. I'm like, what are these people talking smack about? And Saints thinks my it's a door always. They were talking about the ground chicken. They didn't like the texture. So if you don't like ground chicken, they were saying they would use chicken breast and they would dice that up. That would probably be really good. The ground chicken though might be good in like a wrap, I was thinking. I'm like, mm, add, add a little something, something to it. Y'all know those egg, what are they, egg life wraps or whatever? I've been seeing those at Aldi and I've tried them before and they're good and low calorie for my people in the shred or that are doing a calorie deficit. Dessert, we are doing a Fairy Life protein shake, 30 grams of protein, 150 cals, and then my Quaker Rice Crisp. I love these. I get this variety sweet pack off of Amazon. I haven't had this combo in a while. I was having this for months, if you've been watching for any amount of time, and then we switched over to the Ninja Creamies. I made a Ninja Creamy for tomorrow night, so that's what's gonna be, that, I can't talk. That's what's, I, oh my God. That is what I'm going to be having, holy crap. I'm testing something out. A little theory I got going as far as my tummy, the type of milk I was using in the Ninja Creamies, not the Fairy Life. I was using something else because if you watch my grocery haul, I couldn't find the freaking Fairy Life. So I'm gonna see, we're gonna do a little experimentation. But this is what's going down the hatch right now. We are showered, we are rose prosacea, La Roche poseed up. And I was talking all that smack about Amazon earlier. 
and I still feel that way. However, I do have to say they came in clutch today because I have the subscribe and save on Amazon to the Ollie Muscle Recovery Sleep Things. I take these little melatonin gummies every night and I love them. I've been taking them for a while now and I had my last two I just took and my new one came today. So <laughs> Amazon, you did something right for once. And today I feel like I did a lot of complaining, but let me just stress that when I pick up this camera and talk to you guys, it's like me talking to friends that would be in the car with me and exactly what I would say and have conversations with my friends in the car. So it's not me bitching and complaining. It's just y'all coming along with me as my besties and us spending the day together. So I hope you guys don't take it the wrong way when I talk about things. It's just it's like y'all are there with me and I know you guys are thinking the same things most of the time anyway. If you're crazy like me and you're watching, you're thinking the same things like me. So that's why I say sometimes the things that I say. Quick, I wanna talk about like uh, non-gym injuries. So like, no, I'm not injured, but this is, this is hashtag, this is 40. So I was taking a shower and I have our towels. We hang them up at the very top of the shower and you know, short girl problems. I gotta like tiptoe to get to the towel and like tear it down. And I did that and like I pulled something on my left under boob. <laughs> I don't know what that's called over there, but right under the boob, like your rib cage, I guess. And I didn't tear anything. It just like is sore all of a sudden. I'm like, God dang, is this what 40 and older is? Like I go to reach for my towel and all of a sudden my, my boob sore and straight and pinched and I don't know but I don't like it. If you've been following a hot second, you know every injury I have had in the past has not been in the gym. It has been from when I was doing the running game or it has been me doing something stupid here at the house, so there's that. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Thank y'all so much for spending the day with me as my YouTube bestie is spending the day with me on my rest day. Let me tell you, I've got almost 11,000 steps today on my rest day. My goal is 8,000 on rest days. I don't know what happened, but I was just super active today. Today was a really good day. Um, even though I might've been complaining, it had an awesome day, an awesome relaxation day. And tomorrow we have our upper number two. The shark is all is planned to arrive tomorrow as well. I can already feel the feels. I'm starving, starving. Like hunger cue ravenous kicked in like right after we ate lunch and it's been non-stop, like bottomless pit. I am here with you ladies. The jaws should show up tomorrow, so that should be fun. And I am going to see you guys. I don't know if this video is gonna go up first or second, I might flip flop them, but I'm gonna film again on Friday for my second leg day. That will be interesting because I don't know what I'm gonna do food wise. I have a massage that I booked because in with Jen, my bestie here, and also my, my girl Danielle, they're on my ass all the time about getting my like sports massage, deep tissue massage, and I haven't gotten one, uh, I can't tell you the last time. So I need to start doing that once a month. So I have one scheduled and I don't know how I'm going to eat because it's at noon and we're working out and we're gonna be in town. So stay tuned. Make sure that notification bell is clicked, ladies, and I will see y'all in the next one. Thank y'all so much for being here always. I appreciate you guys so much. Like the video, share the video with someone you think you might enjoy it. Please leave that comment down below so we can converse. Subscribe if you're new and we'll see you in the next one. Bye y'all.